the semis. Let's find out in three, two, one, go. Quarterfinal two tiebreaker, our only quarterfinal tiebreaker here underway. It gets off to a pretty evenly split autonomous period. Red Alliance shots off the mark again. We saw it in the last quarter. Finally see it here. Let's see if Killer Bees can line them up here at the end of auto. They launch outside the field. The Blue Alliance dialed in with those last ones and they're able to pick up a total of 34 points there in the autonomous period to the Red Alliance's 18. Drivers now at the controls. Right side of the field, we got 649 zooming in for this Blue Alliance, scooping up some cargo moving across the field. Actually, the other Alliance's cargo, so-called starvation strategy. They'll move to the bottom left corner of the field. Now into the red tarmac, just trying to keep Barker away from any cargo. Barker just cannot get a break. They're being forced into the Alliance wall there for a brief minute. They fire off a piece of blue cargo just into the stratosphere. And now they'll try to find any path anywhere out of there. Their Alliance partners now picking up some offensive duties. That's Stealth Robotics 4089 from Duval. Moving around bottom of the center hub. Fires up. One of those pieces of cargo lands in the lower hub for one point. They're up high shot, missing. But their Alliance partners come in. Killer Bees flying up. Two pieces of cargo. It's good. Another air ball coming in from long range on that red alliance. It's anybody's game here, folks. Seven points separate your two alliances with a little over a minute left to play. Saratoga's M set back in the Red Alliance hangar. Two pieces of red cargo still in that robot, and now they're trying to slow the cycles down to the Killer Bees. Killer Bees find the protected zone. They're able to get a very brief respite from the defense, but now they're back in open territory here in the center of the field. Firing over the Blue Alliance defender. That Blue Alliance defender able to just barely distract them. And those shots go astray once more. 876 for Blue, four point cycle for that Alliance. That's Thunder Robotics out of North Dakota. Four more points in quick order. They've got the lead as the Alliance here by 11 points for the time being. It's all gonna come down to these end game climbs. We've seen both Alliances pull off some relative buzzer beaters. Let's see what the Red Alliance is able to do. They've had a double traversal previously in this quarterfinal series. The Blue Alliance looks hungry to get one of their own. Up they go. Celtics out of Ontario. They're on the high rung. They want to join their Alliance partner on the traversal. A very quick 30 points for that Blue Alliance. 30 on red in the hangar. One last minute climb from the fish on blue, which in a match that tight could make all the difference. Lions. That final score, 108 blue to 99 red. Indeed, it all came down to that hangar and autonomous in the end. And the Blue Alliance pulls it off. That means we have 